Good afternoon, Colorado. Welcome to a Monday edition of What's for Lunch. I'm your host, Larry Hers, and I am fired up today because I saw this stuff on Instagram and it looked amazing. So I DM'd him and made him bring it to me, and in person, it's even more amazing. We have Kyle here from Pirate Alley Boucheret from Lodo. Welcome. Hi. I mean, I've, you know, kind of stalked you a little bit on Instagram. I'm like, holy shit. A lot shit, of people do. Look at that stuff. And I, I was walking by one day, and I was hungry, and I went in, and I'm like, are you guys open? And he's like, no. <laughs> I'm like, all right, I'll, I'll, I'll be back. Yeah. And I think that he gave you the message that I was there. Yeah. Uh, give them a little history of you and your restaurant. Yeah, i um, been cooking since I was 15. Uh, love the you know, culinary industry. Uh, moved to Denver back in 2010. Worked at a few restaurants there. Uh, a few years ago, my wife and I opened Julep. It was a southern restaurant. Right oh, you up. had Julep. Yeah. Uh, you didn't know. He, yeah. You didn't tell me that. Julep <laughs> was amazing. Julep, uh, yeah. And then the pandemic came and uh, yeah. we had to close that down. But one of the uh, concepts we were doing at Julep kind of when the pandemic started, what's a good food that is easy to take with you to go, holds well. Uh, and we started Pirate Alley Po' Boys. Um, it was a lunchtime pop-up we did. Uh, just kind of, I think it was the last Friday of every month, um, and it got a lot of popularity um, when Julep uh, shuttered because of the pandemic. Um, we have a cooking school called Stirk Cooking School up in Highlands, and there was a kitchen in the back that was just kind of sitting there unused, and we had the idea to start slinging sandwiches out of the back kitchen and literally serve them in the alley of Stir cooking school yeah it was uh which is so that's why you call it pirate alley pirate alley uh the name pirate alley that's a kind of infamous alley in new orleans um right in between a cathedral and where the dungeon was and kind of the history was that you know if you were bad oh they'll take you down the pirate alley if you're not careful um and kind of stories of pirates walking through the streets kind of early new orleans and um yeah, we wanted a, a name for our po' boy concept, and after a trip to New Orleans, we kind of landed on Pirate Alley. So you got the cookie school stir, is it, you have one in the Highlands and then another? Yep, we uh, we opened a new location um, in the historic Ice House building, um, downtown right next to Union Station. Um, the front has the deli, the Pirate Alley Boucheries. Uh, that's where we call home for now. Then there's a great event space in the same kind of unit as us that was already set up for a cooking school. Yeah, um, it was so Cook Street, right? Um, it was a uh, mise en place for, the, for a while. Um, it just kind of sat there. It was very unique kind of space, kind of just for cooking school. Yeah. Anything else would kind of have to like kind of gut it and start over from scratch. Um, so we found that space and we run all sorts of different events there. Um, overflow classes from the cooking school, different holiday parties, uh, big culinary events. We're working on something called the Sandwich Smackdown, where we're gonna invite some of our chef friends and kind of have a sandwich cooking competition, invite some people, have judges, and we'll, we'll make sure we uh, <laughs> <laughs> so that's I love a good sandwich. Yeah. So when did this uh, launch in the Ice House? Uh, we opened in uh, September. So September last year, I've uh, been doing it for a few months now, and um, it's, it's going well. And the hours? Uh, the hours, we do Tuesday through Friday, uh, 10.30 to 2.30. Sometimes it's a little early depending on sales. Sometimes I do have a really busy day and sell out. And uh, explain to them the term boucherie and why you used it. Yeah, uh, boucherie is uh, the French word for butcher. Um, all of the meats that we put inside of the sandwiches, um, we make and butcher there in-house. So the ham, we're making bacon. Um, I come from a butchery background. It's something very important to me to kind of use the whole animal mm -hmm. and know how to, you know, make it work and turn it into delicious uh, sandwiches. All right, let's talk about these sandwiches. This is exciting. All right, that is our roast beef debris. Uh, this is kind of an homage to the very first po' boy in New Orleans. Um, story goes there were two former rail car workers, the Martin brothers, um, that kind of got out of the rail car business and opened a grocery store called Martin's Grocer. Uh, during the Depression, the rail car workers went on strike. Um, so he wanted to take care of kind of his old friends. He said, come on by the grocery store, we're gonna feed all y'all po' boys. And they made a very, very simple sandwich, um, which was fried potatoes 
and then the debris left over from the roast that they did. So kind of like some gravy, some scrappy pieces, but just like a big hearty sandwich that they could serve for very, very cheap. That's where the term po' boy came from. The very first one was roast beef. Um, we braise brisket, uh, has sweet potato fries, uh, cabbage, and a little devil drizzle, a uh, little kind of spicy mustard sauce on there, a uh, little remoulade on the bun, and yeah, that's the debris. I had not heard that story before, and I know <laughs> most of the stories. We'll stick with sandwiches here. All right, uh, the Cubano, very, very classic. Um, 12 years ago, I moved from Miami to Denver, so ate a lot of Cubano sandwiches when I got out of work. Um, I think it's a pretty good representation. Uh, the ham there we make, uh, roast the pork, uh, season it with mojo, kind of a garlicky habanero cumin sauce, uh, pickles from our friends at The Real Dill, uh, yellow mustard, Swiss cheese, uh, pretty traditional, straightforward Cubano. And even the bread looks right. Yeah. That is our barbecue shrimp dip. Um, New Orleans style barbecue shrimp uh, is a kind of buttery Worcestershire sauce with a lot of black pepper. It's not that kind of ketchup based brown sugar barbecue sauce. Um, typically you'll get it sauteed, the shrimp or head on. It has all that sauce. You get it a loaf of crusty bread, they give you a bib and you just kind of make a mess of yourself. Um, I wanted to put that into a sandwich. So we have the uh, sauteed, Creole shrimp, a little celery slaw on there um, with a lemon vinaigrette, kind of balance the acidity. And then on the side is that New Orleans style barbecue sauce uh, that you kind of take your sandwich, dip it in kind of French dip style. I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in. You convinced me. Yeah. This is, this is what I'm talking about. Like it, it, it annoys me so much out here. Like we only have like Jimmy John's and Subway. Like worst food, the worst sandwiches, and then there's a guy like you. Come to the tech center, save us. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you expand. All right, that uh, is my personal favorite, uh, the pork loin tonado. Uh, we take uh, that local Duroc pork, roast the loin, thinly slice it, uh, then toss it in a tonado sauce, which is an Italian tuna-based sauce, little mayonnaise, uh, some cornichons, caper, so it's nice, bright, and kind of briny, uh, radish, more capers on top. Uh, really, really nice, refreshing sandwich. Super tasty. Where are you getting your bread from? Uh, we get our bread from Trompo Bakery. Yeah. yeah. They've been on the show. Great people. Uh, yeah, really good people. I think it's uh, Beth, right? The sandwiches are great. You do need to eat your veggies sometimes. Uh, do? This is our <laughs> root vegetable and quinoa salad. Um, some raw root vegetables roasted and pickled. Uh, quinoa, some pumpkin seed, dried cherry, and everything's tossed with a maple mustard vinaigrette. Uh, really, really tasty. Gorgeous. Uh, more veggies. This is our green salad. Uh, it has a smoked grape vinaigrette, a uh, little bit of shallot, and toasted breadcrumb on top. Nice little smoked light grape vinaigrette. Smoked grapes. It tastes like you're eating meat, but that's all vegetables and. Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> you could just sell those grapes. I should probably jar them up. Mm. So, uh, and then we also offer uh, gumbo. We call it the kitchen sink gumbo. Uh, got a little bit of everything in there. Start with really dark roux, add the holy trinity, which is onion, celery, bell pepper, uh, meat stock. This batch has tasso ham, uh, roasted pork, chicken, shrimp, crawfish, and catfish. Uh, put Decent amount of Cajun seasoning and cayenne pepper in there, so it definitely has a little kick. Served with rice, um, that's one of the soups we offer. We also have a soup of the day on the menu, but that's definitely a staple that's been on the menu that people love. Are you guys getting hungry? <laughs> Are you impressed? Because I am. I've done a few episodes of this show, and, and this is very impressive what you've done here. You should Thank be you. very proud of yourself. Thank you. Uh, give them your uh, websites. Yeah, it is uh, piratealleydenver.com. And for the cooking school? Uh, for the cooking school, uh, that space is a uh, stir to learn. All right. Dot com. And what else? Do we forget anything? We got anything special coming up? Um, we run a sandwich special uh, every week. Uh, this week is going to be a pork and oyster sausage. Uh, it's a very popular dish at on the julep menu, uh, served with a saltine uh, cracker salad on top. 
briny, porky, delicious. I mean, a lot of days, like, I have a tough decision. This is probably the hardest decision. I want everything here, <laughs> right? This, what should I go for? The Tsunado is my favorite, but yeah. I mean, you can't. I was leading Cuban. Around. Go for the Cubano, yeah. Right. Follow, <laughs> follow your heart. I just feel like that's going to be a really embarrassing mess when I bite into it. It's going to get all over. Yeah, that one's whole. This one, I feel like I could, yeah. I could do with a little bit of class, bit, yes. which I don't generally have a lot of. <laughs> Pleasure to meet you. Thanks for coming yeah, in. Thank really, you so much. Yeah. really big deal. Thanks. I think you guys are, are really doing something special there. Uh, we'll be back for another episode of What's for Lunch tomorrow. Let's eat. <laughs> so good. It's a tap.